we're going to talk about cranial nerve number seven and cranial nerve number eight. Cranial nerve number seven uh, has the following three branches. It comes as the facial nerve proper, does muscles of facial expression, corda tympani, does a couple of salivary glands and taste from the tongue, and the greater petrosal nerve that does uh, the lacrimal gland, nasal palatal glands, and also um, a little bit of taste from the palate that's not clinically relevant. So let's start with facial nerve proper, number one. This nerve arises, as with all the branches of seven, arises from the pons, courses through this opening in the skull called the internal acoustic meatus, and courses down this little canal called the facial canal and exits the base of the skull at this opening called the stylomastoid foramen, and then pierces through the body substance of a gland called the parotid gland. So the facial nerve goes through the parotid gland, but it does not provide any innervation of it. It just goes right through it and then gives rise to these five branches called the temporal, zygomatic, buccal, mandibular, and cervical branches for the part of the face that these branches go to. Whether you remember those names or not is not significant, but it just has these five branches. And then it goes off to all these muscles of facial expression, like the following. Um, your frontalis that wrinkles your forehead as if saying, huh? Wrinkles your forehead in that way. Your orbicularis oculi, which are, is a circular muscle that closes your eye um, so that they're shut. Your nasalis muscle that flares your nostril. Your zygomaticus muscles, major and minor, that are going to pull the corner of your mouth up in the smiling movement. The orbicularis oris, which is another circular muscle that purses your lips closed as if going in for a kiss. Now in this picture, there's the masseter muscle, but notice I changed the background black. Make sure you notice this, and in green, that's a muscle of mastication. So the masseter muscle in this picture is innervated by cranial nerve V3. It is not a muscle of facial expression. It's a muscle of mastication. So there's your. Uh, there's a number of other muscles of facial expression, but those are five clinically relevant muscles that you can use to test how the health of cranial nerve number seven, the facial nerve, and the branch of the facial nerve, facial nerve proper. Second branch of the facial nerve is called the corda tympani. Now to understand why it's called the corda tympani, let's talk about geometry for a minute. There's a circle, and a line that goes through the circle from one side to the other but does not go through the center is called a cord. So in the body, we have the tympanic membrane, which is a circle, and this nerve courses through this tympanic membrane along its side, but not through the middle. So we call it the corda tympani nerve. That's why it gets its name. So here we have the corda tympani branch coming off the pons, going through the internal acoustic meatus, and it courses right by a cord along the tympanic membrane, your eardrum. Then it exits the bottom of the skull at an opening called the petrotympanic fissure. Whether you remember that one or not, it doesn't matter. But then it courses all the way up to the tongue. Now to get to the tongue, that corda tympani nerve hitchhikes along a branch of V3 that's already going to the tongue. And so the lingual branch of V3 is what's doing general sensation from the front of the tongue, the anterior two-thirds like temperature and touch and pain. Well, now, the corda tympani branch of seven is going to be bringing special sensation of taste from the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, and they share a pathway on the lingual nerve. It also sends visceral motor to the submandibular and sublingual salivary glands to produce saliva on that side of the mouth. So here's the front of the, you know, basically a view of the top of the tongue. It does special sensation to the anterior two-thirds. So you cut the tongue in half, left and right. Then you cut anterior and posterior thirds. So the anterior two-thirds on one side is the corda tympani nerve for taste. And then the pharyngeal branch of nine from the back of the tongue. And then it also does these two sub, uh, salivary glands, sublingual and submandibular salivary glands. So the third branch is the greater petrosal nerve. It comes through the internal acoustic meatus, and then this courses through the base of the skull and gives rise to palatine branches that are going to go to your nose and palate for those glands. But then it hitchhikes along V2 and V1 to get up to the lacrimal gland and cause your lacrimal gland to produce 
tiers. So to review, cranial nerve seven closes your eye. Cranial nerve seven tastes pie. Cranial nerve seven makes you cry and it innervates all the glands in the head except the one that it goes through, that parotid gland. So put these, the, the strike through in the text of the parotid gland. So facial nerve seven closes your eye, tastes pie, makes you cry, and innervates all the glands in the head except for the one it goes through.